Welcome to Kid Crew. He's driving a huge logging truck. And he's hauling Dad's chainsaw. He's headed down into the backyard. We have a lot of work to do on reclaiming our property. Stop the truck and get on that hard hat. And is that spray paint? And now he's looking for rotten trees. Mark an X on this one. I wonder why he chose it. See how this pine tree doesn't have any needles? It needs to come down. Now dad's grabbing his chainsaw while everyone clears out of the woods. Let's do this. Chaps, helmet, choke, prime, break on, and start. One, two, three, ready to go. He's gonna cut down that tree. It sounds powerful. First, he's clearing the brush from the base. He needs some space around the tree to work safely. Now head to the front of the tree. In he goes. That saw is so powerful. He's cutting a notch in the tree. This is the side it will fall on. Then head to the other side and start the back cut. Looks good. Now go. He's watching the top very closely. There it goes, there it goes. Timber. The rotten tree crashes to the ground safely. Saw off. He's got some more management to do though. Grab the tape measure and hook it to the log. He's going to measure 10 foot sections so they fit nicely on his logging truck. Mark it with the paint and get back out of the way. Start the saw again. Now dad will cut up the trees into logs. The chainsaw cuts through so quickly. Now they have eight manageable logs. Off again. Here he comes. Wow. I'm so glad you have this truck for us to haul these logs. That chainsaw looks great. Yeah, I really enjoyed using this one. Thanks for bringing it. Unfasten the chains. Should we get the biggest log first? Yeah. Okay, let's go. They're running to grab a log. You ready? Nice. Look at that teamwork. Wow, this is a heavy log. Load it on the truck. There's another. Great job. Is the truck going to be able to haul all of this? What? More? Thanks for helping. Chain up the load. It's going to haul all of that? It must be hundreds of pounds. Jump off the trailer and into the semi-cab. Then pedal to the metal. This strong truck hauls it easily. Oh no, but a wheel is locked. An air hose came loose. That applied the brakes. Grab the glad hand and pull it back into position. Okay, it's fixed. And finish the haul. He stopped at the brush pile. Start unloading the top log. Here we go. Then the big ones. One, two, three, throw. Somebody better start finding some huge marshmallows. Now here's how you can play along at home. We have some more logging to do across the river. Good thing there's a ferry. And here comes the logging crew. First up is the tree harvester. Then a logging semi with a tractor and some other contraption. Pull up to the ferry. Hello, only the harvester will fit on the ferry. Yeah, that rig is humongous. And there's even a Lego winch. Okay, you head on over. Okay, got it. Okay, come on slowly. The tree harvester fits perfectly on the ferry. Close the ramp. All aboard. Turn on the navigation lights and go. It's a pretty short voyage across the river. Land ho! Put down the ramp and drive the harvester off. Here's the tree they need to cut down. Open the jaws. Grab the tree and cut it down. That's a huge tree. Head back to the ferry. No, 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 that's way too big. 
It's okay. That's why we brought the winch. Okay, I'll drop it here. She's strong. Throw the cable over the river and hitch it to the tree. That looks great. Ready. Start the winch. It's going to pull the tree over. Here it comes. Perfect. Now scoop it up with the tractor. Easy. And put it on the trailer. The tree's recovered. Now the harvester needs to come back over. Drive on. And take the short trip back. Now let's learn how it works. This is how cutting down a tree works. It's not as simple as it might look. First plan where you want it to fall, noting hazards and how it leans. Then get on your protective gear and start the saw. Clear an open workspace around the tree and plan your escape route. Then cut a V-shaped notch about one third of the depth into the tree. It should be a bit wider than what I did here. Then head to the other side and start your back cut about an inch above the bottom of the notch. Keep an eye on the top of the tree as you continue to cut. It's weird to look up while you're using the chainsaw, but you need to know when it starts to fall. When it starts moving, it's time to get out of the way. Retreat with moderate urgency, but don't trip. In real life, this part feels like slow motion. There's a couple ways to encourage the tree to fall where you want it to. On small trees, I like to throw a rope up high. And on bigger trees, you can use wedges and a mallet. Cutting down trees can be dangerous, so encourage your parents to call a professional. Who says power wheels can't do real work? I don't think anybody said that. Well, certainly not us. I won't actually be able to answer You don't think? You don't think so? I bet you will. Actually, you get that thing. You get that thing. Uh, yeah, well, they get narrower. Okay, ready? Nice. Can you get it from the other end again? <laughs> it might be too short for the semi. Sometimes you have to figure out your homemade toys as you go. But if we made the boat any longer, then it would just be a bridge. It wouldn't be a boat. Yeah. Look at the moon. I know, it's really wild. It's time for bed. I think it's like 4.30, right? Why would we go to bed at 4.30? 4.30? Well, if the moon's out, might as well go to bed. <laughs> it's like mommy's dream. 4.30 bedtime, tuck me in, read me a story, turn out the lights. Okay, try not to get too much water inside your boots because they gotta be dry to take to school tomorrow. So much for my 4.30 bedtime. Oh, there he goes. Okay, fun's over. <laughs> Can I show you how the whole trailer starts? Right here, this little piece. This is how each trailer starts. Yeah. And then here, do you wanna show the axles? The back axles. Since the amount of wheels and tires that we can get are limited, we have to reuse them from thing to thing. So here, these are the back axles that were on the other trailer. Oh, watch out for those screws though, baby. Can you get out? Yeah. And then, do you want to see your black track? Or show your black track, honey? It's a poor thing. It's missing. It's back wheels right now. It's hard to keep these all running at the same time. We already basically buy every kid tracks Ram in the local area when they become for sale. Yeah. And unfortunately, I don't make these back wheels and hubcaps anymore. Hey, why don't you tell the, the kid crew fans whose chaps those actually are though? My mom's. For competition purposes. Yeah. Isn't that cool? It is. Kid crew grandma. Timber sport. To make you feel manly. Yeah, but I'm gonna need a warm compress later. <laughs> we can heat up one of those squishamellows for you. Yeah, 
<laughs> we'll, heat, we'll heat up the kitty squishmallow. I know, it makes me feel manly, but I need the kitty squishmallow. <laughs> it's lavender scented, so it'll be very soothing. Thank you for watching Kid Crew. Please like and subscribe.